Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fresh Baked Disney, the best of Disney Baked Fresh Daily. I'm your host, David, and we are here on a Saturday morning continuing our epic, our epic, actually, this almost feels like the beginning, or it should be the beginning of our epic Pixar Fest week. Uh, we did we did the, uh, the Thursday uh, press preview thing. Oh, there they are. And, uh, and then Friday, yesterday, we did the, uh, we did a dinner at La Trattoria at the uh, wine country. And we saw pa or Paint the Night. Makeup. And we're back here on a Saturday morning to really get into the actual Pixar Fest proper. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good There's morning. my co-host, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. There's my your wife. Your There's what? my wife. Huh? I'm your wife. That's, Wait, that's what? my wife. <laughs> Who? Yeah, we're not even joking wife? around. Oh my God. Yeah. Like Mrs. Erickson? Mrs. Erickson. Mrs. Erickson. She's very Mike and Sully. Did you see how morning. petty I was this morning? You brought your <laughs> No! <laughs> look what no, I did. Like, she's celebrating with us. Oh, look at you. So hey, she's not alone. Thanks. Well, there was like those girls there, and they all <laughs> had their like... Where are you at the party? Oh, yeah. And the priestess gave her buttons, and I was like... She actually got married. I want a button. <laughs> <laughs> These are actually what they. Right that lady's not even married yet. She actually got married. <laughs> married. I, I want a button. Yeah. And then another priest that was like, "There you go." So like, hey, there you go. Well, yeah. Uh, just yesterday. Is today celebrate 2.0? Like, we're gonna be celebrating uh, the way that she celebrates, which is at least for a month. Cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, we don't have any plans, but let's just go with it. Yep. We're actually going to celebrate this morning by, by getting on this omnibus in case you haven't heard it. By the way, that is the, uh, I forgot his name again. Frank? Larry. Larry. Oh. Yeah, Larry, the host, driver. our driver. Yeah, Larry. The world famous. We're going to make Larry famous, just like we made uh, uh, Ken famous. Larry is the best omnibus driver. There you go. Yeah. Because of, listen. This is turn of the century America. Sounds like they just press play. Right, exactly. That's Larry. No, that's He's Larry. driving and talking like that. It's the main street cinema where six different screens show the same movie. I'm glad your eyes are open now. Oh, that's scary. I felt like such a freak last weekend, and David was like, I promise it's all in your bed. I was like, no! I'm like Quasimodo! Which bank? That song, when he was like telling him to like, say all these negative things about you, I was like, wow, this is a really depressing song. Like, that's a really sad movie. It's a really sad movie. Huh? If you ever want to be depressed while watching Disney, watch The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. Uplifting movie. I mean, I love it, but. And then watch Pocahontas and learn about racism. Oh my god, Dave. <laughs> the white man. <laughs> I love the chief. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> I miss David Reynolds. Me too. He's such a sweetie. Now, this little street, you'll find the Disneyland Baby Fair Center. A Mickey Mouse picture. Discover Adventureland and Frontierland. Beyond those lands is New Orleans Square and Critter Country. We're now pointing towards the future. Oh my God! Now is a great time to look around. Make sure you grab all the personal belongings. It gives them a ton of fun. Here at Disney's original Magic Kingdom, Disneyland. It's the happiest place on earth. You know what? Splash Mountain tonight. Like the ride? Well, oh my God, Splash uh, we're going to be home open. at 4 o'clock. My name so far, barely, but just so you know, if you're looking for the best omnibus driver when you get here and you see that man driving your bus, you're going to get the best. That's Larry. Larry the best. That's his name. 
Yes, it is. It was on his tag. It was on the tag. Very the best. Hey, uh, Sarah. Yes, Derek son. I heard tell. Do you like Dole Whips? I heart Dole Whips. You heart Dole Whips. Liz, you're not very fond of Dole Whips. No, I like Dole Whips. You do? I do, yeah. I like the flow. Oh my god, don't divorce me because I didn't know that you like Dole Whips. No, that's how I feel too. I was There was a parentheses float in there, you just didn't see it. Oh. I heart Dole Whip. Floats. There Floats. was a time right. where I was against them, but that's all over. Okay, so that's so I did have it right then, sort of. Yeah, you, oh my god, am I the worst? We're not the only ones that know them. I've heard tell that they have a Dole Whip donut that we are going to now sample, even though we've all eaten breakfast. I haven't, no, I'm ready to eat. Oh, are you? Okay, good. Your wife is hungry. Uh, now, what I would like to know is if they were going to have a Dole Whip float donut. Yeah. That would be pretty great. I was hurry, seeing in the line or hearing the line that they, they didn't have any. The people were just all standing here. There's an empty spot in the display right there. But then these fine ladies walked up here with two two trays of these guys. They even got little parasols in them too. They're getting ready to, to put them on display and sell them to all these people in this huge line for Dole Whip donuts. When they got here, when, when, they, when they showed up with the tray of Dole Whip donuts, which they actually, they call them pineapple donuts. I guess they don't allow to call them Dole Whip donuts. But anyway, when they showed up with the pineapple donuts, all these people cheered. <laughs> It was great. I wish I was filming at the time. I gotta learn my rule of never stop filming. Remind me to never stop filming. Okay. Never okay, stop filming. Never stop. I'm gonna stop filming now. Okay, bye. Yes. I, yes. I stopped what? filming. Don't turn off your camera. You said. Don't I stop asked you to remind me. <laughs> Don't stop. Guys, I mean, I did. Uh, so. Oh, look, there's Thank a. You Thank so you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. That was, this that is, is courtesy so of our muffin friend right here. All right. There is the donut that is not to be named the Dole Whip donut. Every time a guest asks for a Dole Whip donut, she goes, okay, that's one pineapple donut. What? <laughs> Me. <laughs> right? Me in life. <laughs> so apparently it's not... Am I recording? Wait, but what, how is that... I guess they can't, I guess. Okay, but on the real, uh, being called a pineapple donut, shouldn't it have a pineapple on it? And live under the or sea. Not. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob's donut. Wait, where are we going? Are, you, are we going somewhere? Okay, we gotta go chase the donut, fresh baked. Get the donut! <laughs> I wanna watch people eat the donut. Well, let's go. We have to eat the donut. I know, but we need to go eat it in the Dole Whip. Oh, she wants to go to Dole Whip Town. Gosh. We're taking this Dole Whip donut that isn't the Dole Whip donut, but a pineapple donut over to the Tiki Won't Room. Take me to Dole Whip Town. Dole Whip Town. Dole Whip Town. Dole Whip Town. You're not singing Dole Whip Town with us. No, I was doing the music. Look you know at me. You I'm humming. I kind of want a Dole Whip float with my Dole Whip. It's not open yet. Thank you, Cole. Okay, we appreciate it. Thank you. Did he say no? Yeah. Is that what? <laughs> Did he say no? He said no. Go no. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we've come to the TV room. We have to take. You know what? Now we have to reshoot all of our pictures. I know, right? We've. Uh, Should we? We've, we've, we've been here for about 45. We've had that donut for about 45 minutes. It's actually expired. We, we still haven't eaten it because of this nonsense. And we've been taking, I don't know, how many pictures have we taken of that donut? A million. I hope it's delicious. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Somebody eat that donut. Right, should we take a bite on each side? I love you, but you're weak, Liz. I am. <laughs> I love you, but you're weak. <laughs> just gonna show me. 
Oh my god. Do you get the filling? She got a little bit on there. Mm hmm. It's kind of high. It's good. She's so high. Well, now, now, now the filling is kind of falling off there. So you... Is it on my nose? No, there's no filling in the donut, right? So does it taste oh. like a Dole Whip? Not yet. Because. It tastes like a donut. Like a pineapple donut? I think I got some on my It doesn't nose. even taste like pineapple. Unless the pineapple's so far deep in there. Oh! <laughs> I found the filling! I would have paid money to see that happen, and it just happened right now. I found the filling! You found it! Good job, Yay! Oh my God. David found it! You're right, though, it just tastes like a donut. Yeah. That's why I was like, not yet. I don't know if it's like an everlasting gobstopper and it's supposed to like change flavors or something along the way. But I always wanted one. Well, we gotta get. Right? I'm yeah, not, we have to try some of that filling. Hold on. It's the longest running donut episode ever. This thing has turned into this. <laughs> Look at what this has turned into, Sarah. <laughs> that looks like eggs. I know, right? <laughs> We're gonna have a scrambled pineapple donut. <laughs> now, does it taste like. I like my donuts over easy. How do you like yours? Uh, Scrambled, please. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, so that's why I got a spoon so we can eat this. Maybe, maybe we'll. Because I'm still not tasting a donut. I want to taste a freaking Dole Whip. Here, take that. Mm, Is that a little dull whippy? Mm -hmm. I got a chunk of pineapple in one bite. It's that yellow stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay, we've achieved donut uh, nirvana, mm -hmm. apparently. And uh, it's it's fairly tasty. It's a good donut. Yeah, but they could put more pineapple on that for calling it a pineapple donut. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why they can't call it a Dole Whip donut. Because it's not. Because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Dole Whip donut. Because it ain't. <laughs> it ain't. So don't call it. Nope. Mark Twain ain't even open, dog. It's not open? Well, uh, you know, uh, maybe it's not open yet. We're trying to do something besides film donuts. And this was the only thing I could think what? of. Filming donuts. Why? I, yeah, we could do a whole week on donuts. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna do our Mark Twain and monorail business while we're waiting for Ian. In case you haven't noticed, Ian's not here. Uh, there was a distinct lack of curly hair. Ian's not here. No. Oh my God, where is he? Not eating donuts. So while we're waiting for Ian, we're, we're gonna do a little uh, Star Wars land and construction updates. What? Go off the to. apple to my eye. You left us. We yeah, were, we were talking. The whole time. I left you just like the guy from Jurassic Park. He left yes. us. He left but us. that's not what you're gonna do. No. Do you think hey. that'll be part of the tour? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look, look, Red Ray, look. I know that dude. Look. I see him. Yeah. I see him. We found Ian. Guys, I know this show is like all over the place right now, but we've been doing updates and stuff, as I mentioned, cool. and yeah. that Ian wasn't here, but he's here now. We found him. There he is getting out. Oh my God, Ian. Hey, Ian. Oh my God, Ian. Let's go. Ian, so what's like being an official part of the show now? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I am so very sorry. We So we took a ride of the monorail, right? We picked up Ian because we want to do a, we want to do an update on Small World. We get the monorail and you get this. Well, this was completely pointless, and I'm like, that was completely pointless. So we're gonna actually go to Small World. We're not gonna ride the ride, but we're gonna go over here to the Small World area to see it up close and personal. This is the new and completed Small World area. Here's your new parade route and stuff. Like I said, you can tell that they definitely did uh, finish the gate there where uh, it's not just the white, you know, the they, they put on a, an overlay over the gate. Wow. Uh, new lamps here, new lamps, new lamps over there. Oh, look at those the new sea lamps over there. The Sea Serpent is there. Oh, okay, so the, the Sea Serpent was over there somewhere, yes. right about there. And now he's over and here. And now he's over here. That's okay, I dig that. Uh, 
So, okay, can we, it's sort of, it, yeah, right here, it would have it would have started to curve left a little bit, yeah. right? Curve left a little more heavily. Yeah, to and the gate would have been where where those trees are. Uh, more closer to where the that original small world wall is. Oh, okay. All right, over here. More along the. I mean, in terms of distance. Yeah. So the gate, yeah, the gate slid like that. Yeah. Uh, so here's the new route that they went down Thursday night when Pixar Play Parade was. Uh, twice a day. Is it twice a day? Yep. All oh, right, on. It's a day parade. It goes twice a day. Uh. What else? Okay, so it's not a shade structure, Ian. It's um. Well, it looks like there's still a few construction walls up. It's not quite done. Oh, over there, you mean? There and over here by the gate. Well, what I mean to say those, I don't think they're gonna put any structure over the queue. Do you think no, that? No, no, that's where the trees are for. Right. So that's just the trees. Which is what somebody was saying is that the queue is gonna go in between the trees, which is nice. I'm really enjoying back there. What's going on back there? Look at all that shade those guys are getting. These, These guys are still <laughs> asked out a little bit, but <laughs> there do appear to be some uh, temporary speakers up because those are those are temp speakers. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's, that's not permanent. Not permanent so. so I'm assuming there'll be some more proper light poles or something with speakers that'll go in those spots. Yeah. But those aren't ready yet. So but they, they got, had, but they had to have the route ready. For that's true for the parade. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, and we don't know where those are going to be. I don't see. I don't see what, where they would Probably put just on those spots. in those same spots. Yeah, I would assume just so. finish it, you mean? Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the lamps? They're a little odd. They stick out a bit. Especially, like, you've got two different kinds of lamps going on here. Yeah, they stick out a little bit. Maybe when the trees are growing, it'll work a little better, but, but right now they stick I feel out like this. I feel like the design of them does kind of, it does match the queue facade. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not the queue, but the building facade. Okay. You know, with, with the, the, with the, the brass the and all that? It's oh, the, the bulbs? It's the bulbs are throwing me off. Not the actual poles themselves. The bulbs are just like odd. What about they match that over there? They, they do, but okay. no, I don't know. If they, if they, those, I get. I really just the light bulbs are just like no, stop complaining. Because they're complaining. <laughs> not complaining, I'm not right? Complaining. This is discussing, critiquing, thoughts. I mean, it is lovely. Like, don't you discussing think? something changed is not the same as complaining. Exactly. Like I think me and a couple of people noticed that you know they walked off the top of the mermaid parade or float and paid the night. Yeah. So why are you complaining? We're not complaining. We not just complaining. noticed it. Observing. We noticed it. We're like, huh, that's interesting. Yeah. What do you think? Like, it's observing. Uh, I do like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, you know, overall, looks nice. Looks like there's probably still a little more work to be done here. These the trees need to fill out for sure, though. Yeah. Well, that's the nature of trees. So. <laughs> That's what, well, that's what I've been saying about the Rivers of America <laughs> since, they, since they reopened, right? That he he is checking me. Guys, that's the nature of trees, he says. <laughs> I love I'm you, saying, Ian. I'm pretty sure you've said the same thing to me when I, I was have. talking about the trees I, on the river. 90% so. error? Or is that, oh, no. Okay. Just when I was talking about how the, the, that whole, the, the Rivers of America, the trees aren't big yet because no, they have it's to gonna, grow. It's going to take them as big as they decades can get for that. Uh, all right, you know, I wonder if there's a bit of a, just a straight green fence behind us, which I'm wondering if that'll go at some point because that, well, because that, that could look nicer. That is a little bit a uh, chain not fence cool. With tarp. That reminds me, the new wall. Here's the new wall. Cobble. Yeah, is that? Am I right? Cobble. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not That's like what cobble. I called it last week. It's. No, I think it's not quite cobble, but it's cobble like. It's cobble like. But there's a new yeah, there's a new wall here, and that so that wall right there looks temporary, right? Yeah, they'll probably either they're probably, finishing I something see some, there. The big white poles are probably for more of that small wood style of wall. Yeah, the, well, and yeah, okay, that's yeah, the fa obviously, well, all this is new, obviously, because this was yeah. backstage before. Yes. Backstage would have been right about where we're standing. Yeah. Right. All right, cool. I don't know, I dig it. Yeah, overall, it looks nice. I, yeah, definite, definite upgrade for sure. Yeah, more yeah. space, and they might actually be able to hold most all the queue on here when it's busy. Yeah, there's still plenty of places to put people, but yeah. this is going to be still a little exposed. But like, even back here, there's still more space for switchbacks. That's too. true. So yeah, yeah. They might. On Do you think that they would never need to go over here again? Not never, but that they'll be greatly reduced how often. That on the happens. busiest days only. Like only up probably on the busy May holiday time. Holidays, yeah. Probably not outside holiday time. I'd be surprised to see it stretch across. That, that's pretty great. That's pretty great because that is a nuisance. Uh, Not just for guests, but for cast members. It yeah. Means they have to join well, yeah. caps and peel back and forth. It's a nightmare for them as much as. Right, right. It's very confusing. Yeah. All right. Well, it there you go. Fresh. It sounds like Fast Pass is now back, some, at least permanently. Oh, really? Small Where at the Matterhorn? Yeah, that's where the distribution is. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm sure I didn't need it, but. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we should go check out Dumbo. Okay, Fresh Break. Are you ready for this? We're gonna go to. Uh, Tomorrow, well, we're in Tomorrowland. We're heading for Red Rockets Pizza Port, aka Pizza Planet, a better place. And we're going to conduct 
a little experiment. You guys are all going to participate in this experiment with us. You are actually the subjects of this experiment, Fresh Bake. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the experiment is yet. Just stand by. And there you go, guys. Uh, Pizza Port is now alien. Pizza Planet, a better place. And you can see they've got some little green men sort of They've hijacked the sign, you guys. They've hijacked the sign and put their own, their own sign in front of it uh, because you know we've all wanted to be Pizza Planet for a long time, and these little green men have done it. Guys, this is amazing! Oh I, my god! I can't wait to go in there and see how great this looks inside. Let's Did you go. see the sign? It you looks, get it? It looks great. You get it? It looks so good. What they've done, Sarah? They put a tarp. They brought a sign with them, and they're like, "No, no, we're taking over." No, it's right? just it's a tarp, and they put it over, and that's all they need. <laughs> all we need, yeah. Oh, it's a tarp. Right. You're right. You know what? Let's go inside. I want to see more tarps. Are there more tarps? I love tarps. Okay. Here we go. We got some more signage right here. This says Alien Pizza Planet. <laughs> this is fantastic. I can't believe I can't. I can't believe we actually got Pizza Planet. It's here. So, is it from Pepperonia? Well, that's what. I, yeah. Everything. You know what? Did you see the artwork? Even the mushrooms and the cheese and the tomato sauce come from Planet Pepperoni. It's actually part of the crust of the planet. What? Wow! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> let's, let's go inside. Oh, look! It's a robot. Look at, look at his shield. What's he doing, David? Sarah, his shield's a pizza. What is he doing? His shield's a pizza. I, I've got to do this, Sarah. Um, I've got to... We were doing an experiment just now. I have to end the experiment. Otherwise, Ian's Please head was going to explode. Please tell them. <laughs> See, Fresh Bake. That's what happens if we... If we, if we love everything. Remember when I said we were complaining? This is going to be complaining. Well, no, okay. Well, no, right. Some people think that, like, oh, you guys just love anything that Disney does. There's that end of it. Or there's the end of it where, we're, where they require us to love everything. Right. We're get, we don't like... what it looked like. We're not crazy about this whole pizza plan. Let's try to be gentle. How about that? Can we at least be gentle? Yo, if you want to see me rants going to... <laughs> I have to. Ian is literally going to explode. I hate this so much. He really does. Okay, really but uh, I get what they're doing. They just, just you don't. Do? Yeah, I get. The reason, the reason why the tarp looks like that, is so because they attacked. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's not permanent. They're here just for a little while to show us their pizza, and then they're going to leave. You say that the Red Rose Tavern was built as a temporary offering, and it's still for them to take it down and then leave it up. Okay, in your defense, if they really are just trying to give us the idea right. that, like, no, they just attacked the pizza right. port. That's what it was, because right? They port. I'm not right. to say that correctly. They just attacked pizza port, and now it's pizza planet. Yeah. Okay, then leave in two right. months. Right, and leave, and leave when Pixar fans. however and many months. Leave. What the no. scams have been told, they legally can't name it pizza planet, because there's a place in Texas that has I mean, it has been in places ah. like the 70s. Right. By, By adding the uh, better place, they can do that? Alien. Alien. But here's the thing. Oh. Here's the thing about the a better place. Here's the thing about that a better place. Here's the thing about that a better place. That place in Texas has a tagline called a peaceful place, like spelled out. Oh, like really? Well, so I think a better place is not a better place. Wait, wait, wait. We can get names here a better place. Which uh, it really isn't. No, it's not really exactly. not. No. no. Really. This sounds silly. But is that a pizza or yes. a planet? Well, it's a pizza and like that's that this is the I mean, the that's, different that's layers. From the, so whatever. Oh, right. Okay. Pretty, it's I'm not sure a 2D planet. It's not a flat planet. That looks like it's flat. Right. I think this is like what are the layers? I mean, the, the easy answer is that's the logo from the movie. So that's I'm not I'm not gonna nitpick. But we're we're to understand that, that the planet is made of pepperoni and But it's not a flat pizza. No, it's not a flat pizza. I don't think so. Because there's other art that we'll see inside, I think. Let's go inside! Yeah. Uh, but to summarize our point, um, just don't. Just don't. And if you are going to, then do it good. Do it right. So here's the inside. It's basically the same, obviously. They've added uh, some little green men up there. And so, I don't know if those planets are new, and the Pizza Planet uh, rocket ship, or whatever that is. I guess rocket ship. Um, right, no, but I mean... They could do, I mean, you can get this right. A little bit of consistency, I guess. They, they, they definitely did this overnight, I think, right? I mean, technically, two days, but two days. otherwise, yes. All right. 
What's good, the, the signs or the, the posters are cool. I kind of yeah. like the I posters. Mean, I prefer the retro okay. posters because I like that vibe. Yeah, me too. But yeah, but I mean for this for this thing. But again, if you're doing the pizza player, then there's right, that. it makes sense. There's our. Uh, that's what the Liz, Liz, you get one of those. I think I'm gonna try it because I'm. This hungry. is not the macaron. This is the. I believe it's a blackberry wine the parfait. parfait. Uh huh. Oh my God, everything just got. Oh. Yeah. See the posters are spoofy, right? Look, we figured it out. That's an onion. Like a like a moon? Look. Layers of fun on neon red. Yeah, right. So the post yeah, like the posters are spoofs. That's tomato. Red These are cities or locations on, on Planet Pepperonia. It's no, not those are the get it, David? Red onion? Neon red? Red onion? <laughs> yes, I get it. Do you get it? <laughs> I get what you're doing. <laughs> Tomato, yeah. Hey, look, it's the uh, Rainbow Caverns. Sort of. <laughs> now, this isn't a planet. Now, is this a, is this a location on Pepperonia? These are all supposed to be planets. Really? Yep. Because there's a poster somewhere of Pepperonia. Yeah, that, it's right over there. That's, that's the yeah, that's the one I was looking at. You yeah. can see it's not flat. That is a globe. That's that's a planetoid. But it's got. Cheese and mushrooms. Oh, it doesn't have bacon though, or onions. So what do they do? What do they do? They fly around. You want to go into space? Not yet. They fly around from Pepperonia, harvesting other moons and other planets for their bacon and their onion. And whatever it is that Rainbow Caverns was. And by the way, after I shut off the uh, the camera, he said, "How dare they disrespect Rainbow Caverns?" Which I thought was epic. <laughs> Who's this broccoli planet? Look at that. That's broccoli. Uh, pineapple? Flavus tropicus? That's gonna be pineapple. Olives? Oleo V. You know what? These are pretty good puns. See, those, are, those aren't bad. Yeah, those are pretty good puns. I mean, yeah, those, those are okay. Right? As puns. See, but the, that's the thing, is that what, what, what we're saying is, you've got an idea, finish it. Flesh it out. Do it. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Is you've got the you got the pun posters, you've got this right here, and you've got the robot out front. What if there's more stuff out here? Oh, we can't go out. Oh, you're scared of the wall. They put new decals. Do you want to go on a spaceship? Oh, I like that. No. Oh. No. No. Oh. It doesn't work when you do it. That's terrible. No, that's super cool. No, it's not. Yeah. You can still see the brick like, texture. It's going to use a decal on the, the existing tile. If that is David, that is not cool. I like it. No, it's not. I do. You didn't even give me like some xenon of the 21st century stuff. To There's sit two on out green, here. Little green alien Sarah, guys right there. Just sit on. For Sarah, oh. that's not Pixar. Oh, you're right. Zetus Lapidus, let's go. Oh my god. Uh, ooh, exit. Look at how much. Look how happy the little green men are out here. The little. little Little green men, little alien, little green aliens, LGMs, LGMs. Okay, they're so happy. Look at this one. He's doing a, he's hooting at Liz because she's cute in her outfit today because she's very Pixar. He's giving it a thumbs up. He's giving it three fingers. I don't know what that is. Uh, they're very excited about their visit to planet Earth with their pepperonias. Liz is enjoying the uh, alien, little green alien face that she's eating. Did you, now was his face right there? Is that what you ate or? I mean the best part of it is this, the frosting. So it's a parfait. This looks like a coral reef in there, doesn't it? I don't know. Like it's, it's the kind of thing you get, you'd get see in our fish tank. The wine or I think the... the Blackberry? Yeah, it's weird. It's throwing me off. So she doesn't like that layer. You know what's weird is that there's pineapple at the bottom. Like, Remember that? Remember the parfait with the pineapple on the bottom? Oh, that, yeah. That, what, the, that literally Oh, that does, was good. No, see, I like I, that. I enjoyed though. that, too. Yeah. It's got strong, that thing. Doesn't that look like something you can find in a fish I'm going to eat an eyeball. It, it does remind me of, like, the a blue sand in a fish tank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's clearly a cake, but... Like, so what, what are the, it's, what what the, is the blue stuff? like nothing. What is the blue stuff? So this is the cake part, but I don't know what it tastes like. So this is supposed to be a blackberry wine parfait. Blackberry wine parfait? Yes. That's, that's an interesting, interesting uh, combo. Yeah. Combo, yeah. The blue's good. It's it's the blackberry that's weird. The blue's good, but the yeah. She, oh, uh, and the eyeballs. She's taste not like, digging this layer right here. And the eyeballs taste like nothing. I ate an eyeball. And I just took a picture of his half-eaten face. Well, I took a picture. Ian, you want to try? You want to do some Are you okay? It's fine. Ian, you're a lefty. What happened? If I have to use my right, I can. Oh, okay. You know, raise big left hand requires you to be at least somewhat ambidextrous. Right, because the whole world's built for righties. Yeah. You must hate it. 
Yeah. You know, that's why I hate everything. We figured it out. <laughs> Guys, we've solved Ian. <laughs> I just hate everything. He's a left-hander. So I hate everything. Glad we figured that out. What do you think? I don't know. It's just like frosting Parfait. cake. I, I, don't, I didn't really... Yeah. I feel like I didn't get the... Black I was in. This kind of thing always tastes the same to me. Just cakey, icing, cakey stuff. Maybe just my scoop did have the blackberry stuff, but I just tasted cake and yeah. frosting. Yeah. Which isn't bad, but I'm like... Oh. All right. I don't like cake, so I'm going to skip it. We were, I was not filming. I got to start not filming. Stop not filming! <laughs> Sarah, Maybe we're just having a conversation. I was just chatting with Ian. All of a sudden, Sarah goes, like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> She's, I don't know. The frosting. We're gonna get yelled at. Start loving it. What is this? <laughs> Wait, I can't lie. Wait. The blue, the blue cake's good, and the frosting. Mm. <laughs> it's good. You know what? Are you doing, Joey? I'm doing Monica. <laughs> oh yeah. It tastes like me. <laughs> what she's trying to do to shepherd's pie. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's good. You know what? I'm gonna go in the bathroom and eat this and watch myself because it's so good. <laughs> so a pigeon tried picking My favorite up. is they're so excited the first like 10 layers. They're like. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then you get to, yeah. And then the beef and the pizza and onions and then more lady fingers. And then they're all. <laughs> oh my God, she made an English trifle plus a shepherd's pie. I like it. Yeah, Joey's like it, right? Nuts are good. Yeah. Damn good. It's supposed to be a blackberry one. It's good. So that's, it's so blackberry the, this is basically right here? Yeah. yeah. A Joey yeah. pie. That's, and that's the lime. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't, it has Frosting to be. is good. The, 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 the if it's not, I, I don't know what's going on. Here's, here's the thing. The cream just tastes like frosting. So I'm assuming the yeah. blackberry wine is supposed to be together. It's, it's, the, it's the blackberry. Yeah, I guess the puree. Dude, we're going to, you know what? We're going to lose all of our subscribers now. <laughs> No, that's limey. Oh, the cake, it's, the cake is limey. The, the blue? The, yeah. The blue cake is <laughs> limey. Well, what's the, what's the lime color stuff taste like? Frosty. Frosty. <laughs> Frosty. 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 Ian. Yeah. This, uh, this streetcar is turning bright around this. Uh, We've gone over this. Around, uh -huh. around the hub. Yeah. Whose head is exploding still? Show hands. Just my head is exploding. Yeah. I love you. Disney can't shock me no more. <sighs> Let's go around. Shockless. Let's go left like the uh, streetcar did. Oh, oh my God, this feels so weird. I'm tripping, tripping right now. You are tripping. So what we're doing right now is um, we're, we, we, have, we have a lunch reservation at 12.50 for Cafe Orleans. Well, that's going to be a little Pixar festy. Go to Ala Kura Country. Um, because, I, well, I personally, I'm ordering ratatouille. The, there's a three-course ratatouille meal. Yeah, that's how you get it. That's very Pixar Fest. Yes. And I've seen, I don't know if it's there or elsewhere, there's a souvenir straw that looks like a, s a stirring spoon with, with, rat, with Remy on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to so look into that. A ratatouille straw. Okay, well, uh, what, I, what we're getting at is that we're heading out uh, th in that neighborhood, because our reservation's not for another hour or so, uh, so we're going to head over to Critter Country and enjoy some uh, Winnie the Pooh because it's also, Sarah, uh, I, I just remember, we, we are doing a Pixar Fest related event when we go to Winnie the Pooh. Oh, are we? Yeah, the live action Dude, Winnie the Pooh um, was made by Pixar. Wow, that was really The live action Winnie the Pooh. See, you could have just, you just said that like this no. past week is like the 15 year anniversary of that ride and that would have been reason enough. No. Nope. You had it tied to Pixar. Yep. Okay. So, uh, starring Josh Gad as Winnie the Pooh, who is, you know, w well known for his stable of Pixar-related films. Josh Gad, he appeared as uh, the live-action LeFou in the live-action Beauty and the Beast. That was Pixar. Uh, it's going to be an Artemis Fowl, which is Disney's producer. <laughs> I apologize for Ian not getting her... Not oh, no, I, I'm just not playing along. I know what you're doing. <laughs> well, come on, Ian! <laughs> it's, it's just more fun for me to just play you're it straight. Right. You, know? you know what? You are right. Sometimes it's fun for me to get, get in on the joke. Sometimes it's fun for me to be like, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's where we're going, Fresh Bay, Better Country. Let's just stroll through uh, the lands, though. We'll just take a little acoustic trip down the rivers of America. So, speaking of Pickard Fest, do you see the Blue Sky Cellars actually being open again? That's one of the things. See, all the cool stuff that we want to do that, we're, that you probably have already seen, the topical stuff is happening at DCA, which we can't get to because some 
jerk decided we're gonna go to Cafe Orleans today <laughs> and ruin everything. Buy some jerk eating you? Yes. Oh. I demanded that we go because I wanted ratatouille. I've never had ratatouille and I demanded it immediately. Sorry. So that's what's happening. But the, the, the reservation is keeping us from leaving the park because then we have to come right back. This is a terrible acoustic video, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to apologize for that also, We've for not better. doing a proper acoustic video that I am just blabbering through. Uh, and I feel like I can't stop talking now. It's kind of like an addiction. Um, I was going to say more like a nervous tick, but that works too. <laughs> okay. okay Fresh start. <laughs> Go on acoustic. <laughs> Go that way. I mean, it kind of ruins the, the magic a little bit. Seeing no water there, I want that to be a waterfall. <laughs> Folks getting ready to do a little canoeing. <laughs> Do you want to show them the funnel cake at Hungry Bear? Uh, River has one and Stage Door has one. We can show it to them, sure. Let's go take a look. There's cake with funnels in it. Like little, little. Yeah, what, a, what does a funnel taste like? Have you ever made funnel cake at home? Negative. Oh, oh look at that. That looks like just a lot of stuff going on there. Well, uh, strawberry, cherry. I'm going to show Instagram later. Strawberry butter? Because I took a picture of that the other night and it looked really yummy. Yeah, it does look yummy. And there's another one over at the Estate Shore Cafe. That's different. Yeah. Different, yes. And you can get a Nemo or Dory premium tumbler. Do they have any of those? Like, oh, here we go, right here. There's your uh, Nemo. They weigh more on this shape, so... <laughs> yeah, maybe so, and there's your dory. So, uh, we've, we made it to Critter Country. Look at look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> I can't... Like, I don't even want to... I just want to open the camera and, and film this for a while. There's some folks going on the canoes. Uh, but I, I brought Ian down here. You weren't with us when we were on the Mark Twain. No. There's a moment when I was on there that I... When I saw the mountain that isn't a mountain that's a building. Yeah. 
and I let out an audible big tower by Falcon in the yeah, yeah yeah I put out an audible OMG on video in With uh, more colorful language well no it wasn't colorful but no, it was so okay. much so that it's not on camera but the people around me all turned their heads to like oh, what, what, what is what, it? to see what I'm talking yeah, about no, it's, no you, wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't understand <laughs> and if you did you still would be like why it's just a, it's yeah fine. yeah but what uh, we came down here so I could you know because Apparently Ian's been observing this progress on this building for a while. Yeah, but I've, I've, no, but I've noticed that steel structure. And you... I keep calling it a mountain. I can't yeah, find it now. A couple times. Yeah, but... Is that it right there? Where is it? I, uh... It is really glary. Yeah, and you got this. Well, that's where we were right there. Couldn't see through those trees, so we come you know, up. In retrospect, we could have just gone up the stairs at the end. We're I forgot that they were even there because they did, built I those new. I did too. We were on the top deck of the uh, Hungry Bear out in the uh, extended seating area. Now let's see if we can get in there. That building, now where is that? That's the Millennium Falcon area? Yes, that building is, like, there's kind of like a big round section, right? Yeah. That's on the left corner of it. So that's, that's so the entrance is right, right beneath that? That beneath curved, that slash, curved, that curved? Is below and between that and the big peak, on the, between that tower and the big peak on the ground. Be All right. Falcon. Right, and so, because that peak right there, isn't that also like part of the? Uh... Yes, that's a new one. I mean, the the steel has been there, but the mesh is there. Yeah, that's that's the left. That flanks the that flanks the entrance to the left, right? It's more background, but yes. Oh, okay. That's more of a background. So yeah, that's pretty neat. That, that building looks very uh, distinctive, which is what excited me most about seeing it. Was that, you know, it's probably the most recognizable me, the most thing that we've seen so far when it comes to actual structure. That so, the star and that's why I'm like, the you know, this guy. This Don't guy needs to chill for a minute. We're filming. Hey, well, he's, about to, he's about to fire a cannon. So. Oh, how many? Just fire one? Uh, fire one, but it's a cannon cannon. Found them! And the standard fossil cannon and prepare to fire a What are the odds that there is somebody? Oh no, he's already got the people off of it. near the shore, we know we are well armed. You know, this Those Columbia made cannon, its first appearance in a Pixar back. film in 1999. Back. Uh, as part of the Pixar business, I just want to talk about that. Just my guy, text there. Okay, it showed up in, uh, in Toy Story, um, in a deleted scene. Didn't make the final cut, but this is the Columbia from the deleted scene from Pixar's film, Toy Story. Happy Pixar Fest Day, everybody. Fire one! These cannons be shooting blanks, sir. You know what? I know a certain boat that is about to get invaded by pirates. Yeah, they didn't scare them. Because they didn't scare any of them. That is that that is a boat. that is a Columbia that is indefensible right now. Because fire one. Okay, maybe they're afraid of children. <laughs> well. <then. laughs> And the awkward silence continues. Now, that should put some fear. Oh, my God. No, we sure don't. All right, let's go, let's go find the girls and ride Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> All right. Uh, where were we in the show? I forget. Um, wherever we were, we're here now in Critter Country to go ride with Winnie the Pooh and his many adventures. Hey, can I give Fresh Bake like a character, like professional tip? Sure, sure, go. Do you want to go on Winnie the Pooh? A lot of times people don't realize that if a character's walking away from you, yeah. it's because they have They're to. on their way somewhere. And I know it sucks because you want to talk to them or whatever, but if you are more familiar with like, so how does Pocahontas say hello? Right. So say that instead of just like, Pocahontas! Right, right. And you, you get your exchange. Right, so you that's feel what like I did. you've met her. I said, We got my Pocahontas, and she went, We got my right. one. And, and kept on. There you go. And now you've got yourself a meet and And now you just communicated with Pocahontas. It's even better than right. getting a, a selfie with her. So, if you were really looking forward to the character, like, you know, educate yourself a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just know the character a little bit. And yeah. like, know a little bit of their lingo. Yeah, yeah. And then if you don't get to catch them, at least you can try and like. Right. No, good call. Good call. Hey guys, I want to know on which island of Dr. Moreau did he grow elephant bumblebees? 
Excuse me? What? Winnie the Pooh has, look on the back of of the honey, the, what do they call them? The beehives? Heffalumps. It's an elephant that's a bumblebee. Those are heffalumps. Heffalumps look can it. look however Watch. they want. What? It's no. Heffalumps. They look like... Ian. Look it. Help me out. It's an elephant <laughs> bee. Right. <laughs> 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 Heffalumps can look however they want. It's a heffalump. What about woozles? Right. Well, the heffalumps would look slightly elephantish. Right. You don't think? Do you really not understand heffalumps and woozles? In the middle of the point. That's the point. Because as a kid, you would have trouble pronouncing those words. Right. That's the point. I don't understand bees that look like elephants. Or elephants that look like elephants. You don't have to understand. But that's not even it's part of your nightmare. Why don't they call them? Elephabees, because that's not what they are. They're heffalumps. And then there's going to be more heffalumps inside there, and they won't even look like those. There's another one. See look how it. that one's blue? Look it. Still a heffalump, my man. There's nothing you always say to me. Believe in magic, you hog. <laughs> <laughs> or, I do, do what I do like, is don't eat a reason. <laughs> don't, right, you don't need a reason. They're heffalumps. Yeah. Have you never, like, mm -hmm. tripped out in the heffalump room? Sir, I've never tripped out. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I said too, because I, I was like, none are coming back? 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 I like,
What? No. What? Oh, she's making a two seat joke? No two seats, guys, sorry. Well, fresh baked, but just about time for us to have our uh, Pixar Fest themed lunch here at Cafe Orleans. We have reservations, and if I'm not mistaken, we had Ian ask for a table on the rail because I feel like like when you go to the Blue Bayou, you should eat on the water. When you come to Cafe Orleans, do your best to try to get a spot on the rail because it's better when you have all this traffic coming by. Hey, look, I found them. Did you guys get a seat on the rail? Why, yes, we did. Are you, are you going to have lunch today now? What? Hey, Why, yes, let are. me see. Here's, this is what we're doing right here, guys. This is the Cafe Orleans Pixar Fest three course I don't know how to pronounce that in French, but it's price fixed. Uh, and it's 40 bucks per person. And you can choose from the, you know, the starter, and then you get the entree, which that's what I'm getting is the shrimp uh, ratatouille, which is the only entree. I guess your choices um, are with the starter or the dessert. No, I think that's, that's all the cheese that's on the cheese plate that you're getting. Oh my gosh, you're right. So it is just it's no choice. This is it. So I yeah. thought it was multiple choice. No, so you'll have a starter of a cheese I'm going to get a whole bunch of cheese. A shrimp. Ratatouille. Hey, there's your cheese plate. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. That's we right. got we got dinner at the, at the Trattoria last night, and they, they didn't give me the cheese plate that I had thought we were going to get. But anyway, that's what we're going to do in here. Hey, guys, do me a favor. Hold my seat. I'm going to come around and sit down uh, and join no, you guys. Somebody's already actually like trying to swoop on it. So Are you? We were just going to sell it to them. Are you trying to diss me? <laughs> Instead of a new coral. <laughs> No, it's real life. I'm, that's why I'm gonna order it. Can I get a decoy salad? <laughs> she means this. Hey, look, this is the view I was talking. Hey, look, there goes uh, Doc Priscilla Bay. This is gonna be our view for the next 30, 40 minutes. Uh, I think I think I might try to film this. What do you think? Should I film like a little going out here right now? Yeah, totally. And then we can just say all kinds of obnoxious things. Yeah. I wonder how much usable film there will be from that. Yeah, I mean, you, you can, if you had to, you can time lapse in. I mean, you warned us ahead of time. So. No, yeah, I think you're right. I think a time lapse yeah, seems more appropriate. You can time lapse in and put music over it. There you go. Okay. Done. Bring us food. 
Like nonstop. <laughs> and? <laughs> and I know, right? <laughs> right I'm still Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo, that's turkey, with the turkey ham, and the ham. Cheese. Sarah? Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, that's what I got last time. Fine choice. There's another mint julep, minus the mint. <laughs> that one's got mad. There's a Monte Cristo minus the turkey and ham. Yeah, it's a three cheese. And I'm still trying to finish my this. Amazing. Are you eating it properly? Yeah. yeah. And there's the star of the show. This is the whole reason why we're here right now, is to get this ratatouille. Can anybody identify everything on that plate? I see you. Cucumber, tomato. Is it cucumber I mean, I'm making zucchini? cover. I'm zucchini, squash, um, tomato. How am I supposed to cut that with a knife and fork? Red sauce. Oh, I see some eggplant in there. This might have been an enormous mistake. But it'd be your greatest mistake. I don't know how to do this. Let's go for it. I mean, the way Ego ate in Muji, he's just kind of stuck. Right. So I, do I take the up. shrimp off and like? <gasps> Wrong. Do you do you really know how to eat this? Or no. You, okay. Wrong. I just feel like you want to eat every layer, don't you? Well, I'm gonna put it on there after I I have to. I'm like eating. What are you doing? Oh God. Oh, you're ruining it. I am ruining it. I'm gonna build a bite though. This isn't build a bear. You <laughs> back know that close. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is recreate the moment. I'm gonna try to anyway. Yeah. From Rad Tui. You do that. What else am I missing? You're missing something all right. Alright, let's get some more of this. A little bit of sanity. Of you should see I just already fell apart. I have faith in you. You can do it. Okay, you ready? I'm so ready. I was born ready. No, I don't run. I, I never had this before. This is your totally worst reaction ever. This is your not the worst reaction ever. Of course you've never had this, fool! I was expecting to have a childhood flashback. But when I was having my flashback, I, re I realized I ate a lot of macaroni and cheese yeah. when I was a kid. Not this. And like SpaghettiOs. So that didn't take you back to I've never had ratatouille. It didn't take you back to New Orleans? I've also or never to been to the French Orleans. countryside. Or to the French countryside. Or France. I've never eaten a fine meal, for that matter. Yeah, tell me about it. This is the first thing I have to eat that isn't a cheeseburger in 17 days. Enjoy! It is good though, it's tasty. <laughs> and there's our final course in our ratatouille uh, three course meal. That's beignets filled with berries and some quickly melting ice cream, I guess, right? They're doing it with lasagna. It almost just seems like they did like a whipped cream and cheese. Now, before we get into this, uh, did you finish your uh, Monte Cristo? Oh, yeah, there's a bit of crust left on the side, but otherwise, more or less. yeah, otherwise, pretty sure all. Sir, how'd you like your uh, shrimp and grits? I love it. The grits here are fantastic. I'm so good. Yeah. Uh, and I, I even like your, your vegetable uh, sides there too. Those mix well with the grits. I enjoyed that meal very much when I got that last time. Uh, how did you like the insides of your Monte Cristo? Liz? <laughs> it was it was great. I love mozzarella. Liz free. ordered the three cheese Monte Cristo. <laughs> what she should have just ordered was the three cheese. <laughs> I just want three cheeses. Just like, give me three cheeses, please. There's a lot of breading. Now I know that I don't ever need to do that again. <laughs> like it's out of my system. But did you like the way that the cheese was it's melted? Delicious. It was really good. Oh, yeah. Did you did you use the uh, the jams and the jelly? I did, but it threw me off a little bit. That's the way to eat it. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know it is. Berry puree is really. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's delicious, but the best way is like the one good bite with with the with the with the fried you know bread and the cheese and the ham and the, all that so together. So much breading. Fantastic. So much breading. Yeah. That's um, why you split it with somebody. Yeah, you and split you get it. the one with me. Right. Unless you don't like me, in which case, whatever. But right. like, it means better. And then, uh, even though I did not have any kind of, um, you know, like visceral reaction to my my ratatouille, I, I there was no there was no. Uh, you didn't do the thing where you zoom in while panning. Oh, back. I did, but the result was blankness. Because that's gonna happen. 
What's that? Was it good? It was actually good, yes. Yeah. It's, it, it was good as far as a, a plate full of vegetables with a couple pieces of shrimp on top could be good in that sense. The sauce was nice, uh, and, the, and the vegetables were prepared in such a way that I could eat them without being like, oh, I'm eating a whole bunch of vegetables. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you really know you're eating vegetables. I know that our meal wasn't the most impressive last night, but I really liked my entree last night. That oh, you're... Uh, what did you get? It was like they were spaghetti noodles, but they just cooked it with like spices. Yeah, and oh, okay. like veggies. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, hers looked yeah. really good. Yeah, remember when she got the. <laughs> what? I can't even get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Her chicken parm with white sauce on it. <laughs> I completely understood what she was asking. I know. I I knew he I knew he didn't have it. I could tell he didn't have it. I thought he did. Because he kept saying shrimp. And what he was talking about. I thought he was just saying that meal. He was saying with the white What he was saying was shrimp Alfredo, no shrimp. No sir. Yeah. I want the spaghetti pasta, but rather marinara, I want an Alfredo sauce on my pasta. Who puts who puts because he had the reaction because she asked for what he thought she asked for was chicken parm with white sauce. And he's like, what? No, it's not. <laughs> I wanted my chicken parm. I know, but because nobody gets chicken parm with white well, sauce. The other chick understood. Exactly, because <laughs> she's done it before too. She's like, oh girl, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, he grabbed her menu. He's like, you want to do what now? Thank you. Uh, anyway, Thank I did so enjoy much. the uh, ratatouille. It was good. Um, I just wish I had had them when I was a child so that I could have a more of a reflective moment while I was eating them. And then I could recover my youth and being stop being such a curmudgeon because you guys could probably use a day off of me being a crusty old food reporter. You're the angry one? I'm... <laughs> I need to relive my childhood. I'm going to stay here quietly. All right. Uh, we're going to... Yeah, you oh, now, yeah. You really should get on that. It's now soup. You really should get on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
played all of my favorite Pixar Pixar songs. That was great. They, yeah, they were just playing some of the best Pixar songs. Yeah, yeah. you guys. Pixar Fest. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like we've been trying to celebrate Pixar Fest all day today, and we've been kind of like, there's just not been enough Pixar in our Pixar day, our Pixar Fest day. We need more Pixar. I'm covered in Pixar. I don't know about you. You know what they say? I That's right. You. I wore a Pixar shirt. I win. Yeah, you did good. You got Mike and Sully. I'm wearing a Pixar shirt. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, go ahead. Home. There you go. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to DCA to get more Pixar in our Pixar day because Pixar or it didn't happen. That's what uh, I'm saying. I get it. Hey, I thought you might enjoy that. Uh, we're gonna go What's check out. Red Radiator's Pixar. Actually, <laughs> well, where we're we going out. first? No, where are we going we're first? We're right around the corner right now. There's the waterfall. Oh, is this is this where we not fall yet, in love? Not yet, not yet. With the girl car, and because she's got a back tattoo. Porsche, yes, whatever. The waterfall. Oh. The waterfall. Oh, and we're in love. Hi there, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so what we're doing first? This is the waterfall. No, you, you were right before. Oh. Oh. Well, well, as far as the ride goes. The ride arrangement's different from yeah. the actual piece in the movie, right. so that's why. Um, we're not... No, yeah, there's a lot of Look at you. Uh, we're going to the Blue Sky Cellar first, actually. I'm giving you more Pixar. Wow! Oh my god, he's into that in so long. I know he got me. No, so I'm just moving right along, like I don't care, because I am a honey badger! <laughs> no. How's it feel, Sarah? That you got me? That's payback from like five years ago. The one time that the I never got you? The one time you got me. I never paid I don't you back. I remember what I, that was for, though. We, it was for, it was for uh, Frozen Olaf, Olaf Snowfest. Right. Or, I think this looks new. Yeah! Word on the street is that the Blue Sky Cellar is open. Word on the street is inside the Blue Sky. We've been asking for the Blue Sky Cellar to be open for a long time. And actually, now that I'm saying it out loud. And even before the before they break, wow, they have a lot of projects in the works. Yeah, why are they, are they off? Come on. Right, I will take Hong Kong, Shanghai, you name it. Uh, Florida, wherever you got stuff going on, I want to see what's happening. Uh, but I have a feeling like I'm going to get let down just now. Like it's not going to be open when we get there. What do you think? I mean, there's no reason for it to be closed in the middle of the day. What? Mr. Shirt. Young, scrappy, and hungry. Oh, <laughs> Hamilton shirt. Sarah is just feeling it today. She's feeling it. And? <laughs> I asked him, is this pin trading? And he said, yes, it is. Oh, is he doing Ross? <laughs> uh, let's go to this Blue Sky Cellar. That's got Pixar in it, including an Incredicoaster that you can e-stop. Well, okay, so there's a model of the actual land yeah. and a, a coaster model that's kind of like the screaming. Kind of, uh, not the whole thing, right? It gives you a mini version of what's like for Casper to control the ride. Yeah. No. Blue sky, okay, this way, all right. Baby, baby lines. We're gonna go in here. This is the Blue Sky Cellar right here that hasn't been open for how long? Not counting when they had it half kind of open for AP days. Right, don't count that. Not since before Cars Land opened. Yeah, that was the last when Car thing they were showing. Well, uh, Princess Fantasy Fair was the last thing well, they exhibited. Was the same here. time, but was it? I think so. Oh, well, it is open. Ian, it's open. This is happening. Actual. This is happening. We're going to the Blue Sky Cellar. Holy heck. Look, see, right there. Blue Sky Cellar presents Pixar Pier. Oh, my goodness. Hey, how are you? Hey. Okay. Hello. Oh, look, they're bringing in a piece. Hi. It was just like watching. Look at. It. It's us. Oh. I know. It's, somebody's doing a not whole game That's report. You put your head Only in they're getting to actually see the construction. Yeah, they're, they're like in this on, on this on the construction site. So make it. Up. Why does this feel like a 1970s? Because this is Incredibles music playing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, the, the, actually, the remind you, the remind you, no, yeah, the score to Incredibles is fantastic because Michael Giacchino is a genius. Look at, see? Okay, this is what we're about to see is this thing. Yeah. Oh, man, Michael I want this job. Michael Giacchino's incredible score is so good. Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Oh, is Walt
Walt going to present Pixar Pier? I have missed this so much. Here's the concept that we're all very familiar with. A whimsical yep. waterfront inspired by a classic California boardwalk. P and Pixar Pier. Reminder, there's your foot splash. Yeah. Uh, Oh boy, that is, I mean, that's 100%. Yeah. Flicks flyers and inside out together. Yep. Originally, everybody thought it was going to be in here. There's actually a piece of art or one of, somewhere around here that shows a spinner on that spot. Which oh, really? That was a little art. From, well, from so, the original I mean, Paradise Pier, right? No, no, um, the Pixar Pier. Oh, really? Meaning, I mean, that rumor at one point was true. Okay, all right. But clearly, at some point, they decided, you know what, we're just going to repurpose an existing spinner in this other yeah. spot instead. Yeah. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, Inset pink rose color. For oh, okay. The, the facades. Right. This. Okay. Yeah. And this here. Or what will be the proper entrance to Nick Nick. This is. The, the, we, these are up now. Uh, these okay. cupolas yes. are up now. And Last week they were the, the steel. To Lamp White. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The, the, that's what the art's gonna look like eventually. Or the. Uh, you know the design on that awning that is yes. being rebuilt. <laughs> This looks like that place in San Diego. It may be. That probably is. You think? You know what I'm talking about? Where you can like have breakfast right there on the beach? Inspiration from a rich history of California piers and boardwalks. So it's at least in California. The use of resplendent jewel. You're close. You're close. She's lost her mojo with the with the uh, wrong and fossil case. I don't you guys. understand what happened. I don't know what happened. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You need to practice. Go to. I understand. There's a genius about this on Dagaba. Go seek him out. A uh, little green guy about this tall. Okay. He'll 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 remind you. About Dagaba is how we should. Dagaba. No, actually, it's Dagaba. It's not Dagaba. Just like oh, here, yeah, we've done the side plan. And Ian has astutely pointed out, and much to my happiness and joy, many more trees than we're used to finding. Some of these are already here, but these are some of these are taller trees as opposed to right, like those palm palms, trees. right? These, these look, yeah, palm, that's what be the these. Palms are different. Trees. These are different, yeah. Yeah. And we've got a little bit of a different set here. This is where the Pixar ball will be. Yeah. And uh, Flix Flyers is right here. So yeah. Uh, that, so the billboard where it used to be the copper tone type deal? Well, there's one of those that's redone Pixar-wise or whatever. Already? Yeah. But it was like that at one point they were just looking at putting the ball Look on that, the yeah. but it didn't. But yeah. for a reason that did not happen. Here's the, uh, yeah, here's the concept art for the... Uh, Himalayas. Now that's, that's not called that now, and now it's called uh, the Adorable Snowman. Yeah. Right. Go bar or Lamplight Lounge. Yeah. We've seen most of this already. Except for that. What are, yeah, what are we looking at here? Ian? This would be the end, this would have been the entrance right? to the whole pier. No, to Incredicoaster. Oh, okay. So like, Cove Bar is like right about here somewhere. No, entrance to Incredicoaster. What? Like the actual attraction? Yes. See, so there's the I O F on the side. So this is completely new. That would they would have to build all that up. They, oh, why why couldn't they have done that? Because that would require more time and money, and they wanted to do this done mm. quicker. I would have loved. Like I said, these look more interesting. This would that would have been but fantastic. Any of this would have been more interesting, but it would require them to actually deconstruct the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, different cues. Yeah, because they decided instead to save the building and just and put, build it yeah, onto and it. just append. Yeah, yeah, they're basically appending that and that to the existing yeah. structure. I, I heard it. <laughs> what are you two dorks doing? We're riding the roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> It looks and like she rode with us! <laughs> and making wheeze and woo noises. And we wooed on every... You know, we just can't wait that, like... We can't wait. I can't wait either, yeah. It's a lot of fun. That's like the thing that... Hey, did you notice that the wheel is two-tone? Are they going to keep it like that? No, I don't think so. Ian, look at the wheel. Why is it two-tone, Ian? Uh, they're just showing it half-painted. The final thing will be painted. It's going to be blue? Right? Yeah, they've the whole all, thing will be blue. They've already yeah. got about half of it done. It's already half blue, yeah. yeah. The top half is now blue. Well, they made it rotated. Right, it was the bottom half, but yeah. anyway. Uh, oh, look! That's one of the launch yeah. tubes. Sorry, I meant this because this is like a proper oh, gosh. Ian engineering sketch with lose dimensions. What is like, that? I mean, this would be just your safety information sign, right? Oh, okay. But this is like, you know, your dimensions, the materials, all of that. It's wow. Now, See, that's you the kind of world I would work that, in. That's what you would do right yeah, now, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I already look, my current job, I look at drawings. Yeah. Not as fancy as that, but I look at drawings. Right. It's part of my job. Okay. Okay. 
launch tube. Now, practical projection, what do you think? Uh, lasers probably, I mean. Lasers are projection. We, 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 we saw them physically moving. A, well, I mean, picture them moving a physical man kind of dash. That, yeah, so dash is practical. Yeah, and then you have lasers. Awesome. What is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming in the audio you'll hear him bouncing around because there's no way to visually do that. And she's on top of the tube. Again, early. I think that's early pictures because I'm pretty sure he's gonna, she's going to be inside. That would be that, neat. Gonna, that, that would be great if they, if they really do the, pull that off. There's technically three tubes, but one of them is going to have some during the up and one during the down. Okay. So that way you get all four, right? And the rest of this looks so much better. You missed, you missed the whole ramp. We're going to sum it up for you. <laughs> this is the old Senior Buzz Tour. Oh, not the old, but, but the original this, concept, which looks well, like a thing, I mean, like a real thing. Even have make it cocoa in this room. Right. And then we, this is what we're going to get, which is what we saw we were doing last week at Bugs Land when we saw that. It's too bad. It really is too bad. That looks fantastic. And it could. how much could it cost to do that? They Disney, Disney has an ability to make things that shouldn't cost much to do yeah. take, take longer and be more expensive. So. Here's your concept art for Angry Dogs. So even that is a little more involved than we're actually getting. Well, it really it looks like all they've done here is just drop this in front of the existing, uh, what is it, Don, is yeah. that Don Thomas? Uh, no, Don Thomas was the turkey cart. Oh, the turkey, turkey okay. Oh, and that looks about it. I mean, that's a decent yeah, that's, overlay. Um, I mean, it's weird that it's just this giant oversized thing. I know, but at least but, it's a fully realized thing. Yeah. Uh, now, where's the cookie? They, I've seen the art with cookie with his cookie store on it. Sure where it's where the photo go. pass, it where the photo thing is. That's one of the pieces of art looks like, but this is a, a smaller cart. Oh, here we go. Yeah, cookie num -nums. Like It's a smaller cart, so I don't know where. Because you don't need that whole thing. Though. No, you don't. Not just for cookies. Yeah. And then we've got Bing Bong's Candy Shop, which is, yeah, there it is right there. That's um, approximately, what? Uh, the t-shirt shop yeah, at the beginning that's, that's of it? Point Magoo Tattoo. Point Magoo, okay, there you go. There's Point Magoo Tattoo. And then here uh, we've got our first look way. at, uh, one this is one, one of the uh, uh, boardwalk, games. boardwalk games. Yeah. Uh, wait. That's just oh, one. he's got a broom. Because <laughs> this is the, that looks like the fishing location. Yes. Uh, but yeah, he's got a broom. He's, he's pushing or swinging stars. Yeah, okay. And then here we've got to look at the uh, fun wheels with the... And the character that you've seen character. on the construction wall is those, those cameo faces will be... Yeah. All right. It's a nice now, easy way to catch all of you. Let's go over here and take a look at this thing. So that's like the early, like, sort of blue sky version, the blue sky. Look, I was going to say, they've moved... These guys outside. Where is? Hey, first break. Hey, how are you? I wonder if that's more just meant to represent the fast where that is. Midway Mania. Yeah. Because it's just a meant to battle go. Burns eye. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So cool. So, so this is what I was saying about this early version still has this puts a spinner over yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. There's that's a spinner there. I think. Which I think. I think that rumor at one point was true. Yeah. And then but there's also. Gears. And there was something else over here. I don't know. Yeah. But at some point they switched gears and said, hey, you know what? Like this yeah, yeah. Kid, we're going to repurpose for expires and put it over there. Got it. What is going on here? That is probably what's going to uh, look at what will be in the front. That's something outside. Yeah, that's like yeah, a. That's essentially a marquee. Essentially, a marquee of some kind, yeah. For the, what was happening to the uh, carousel. That's not happening, though. No. I don't see that in the concept art anywhere, the current oh, concept Jessie's art. Jesse's there. Right, but she's, it's just Jesse in front of. This is true. Right. That's true, clearly. Yeah. So, that, it's not yeah. that. Well, it she's is, leaning up, in the art that I've seen, she's leaning up against the thing. This is true. Now, when you say Disney, that's the exact. I mean, that's the, the designs from the Disney Fanny game, the figures. There's, well, is that in, bad? It, it's kind of. The first one with hey, the first art they released of this, it was straight, just straight copy and paste yeah. pictures. Of oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's just odd. This is kind of neat. There's a like dash running. I bet you it's gonna be. No, that'll light up. Yeah, yeah that'll light up and show, it'll uh, look like. He's that'll look pretty cool. Around. It'll probably go all the way around, right? It'll this is a very busy float. Yes, it is very busy. Now, does the underminer feature in the film, or is this? I probably in the opening scene. Because but he's not the primary villain. No, it's. I think if you saw the trailer, it's someone called yeah. Screen Slayer. There you go. Yes. Screen Slayer. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty cool villain. It's interesting, at least. Yeah. I mean, no, that's like, that's a classic comic book villain sort of. Yeah. yeah. I'm Screen Slayer. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, so and then early concept studies explore different design possibilities. I'm glad that they didn't go this route. 
Because well, they already have Konami and Droid and Play Parade. Yeah, Play Parade already has that. I think it's much better with the Underminer here. I am beneath you, but nothing is beneath, beneath me. me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I don't see anything else here to... No, there's some stuff up above us. We'll get to that. So we've reached the model. The USS Section R. Trust. The Trust Section <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meaning, whatever that piece, there's some pieces lying around in there, right? So yeah. whatever that piece is for, you punch out, and it's for, those are all trusses. All right. Section the right, they break it into sections. That truss is section. Got section. it. So what do we got? Step one is the study model built early in the design process. Let's move around this way. And you can see that they, they're, I guess they're going to keep this up to date with how they're painting the wheel now, right? They're gonna, no, the I, wheel's I, gonna be, I think it's The wheel's going to be half by Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. No, the, the point of it not being this model, not being fully colored, if we're, if I want to be polite and generous, is that they wanted to show you the process of yeah. the model development. No, I get it. Yeah, you're right. As to a, save. It's, yeah, it's look how pretty we're this making is, it. This is how, how the model, not just how, this is not just what the model looks like, this is how the model is developed over time. Right. Right. And here you go, Pixar here. You start with just the basic shapes and color and placement, and model. you start to get into more detail. Oh, look at this, man. This is the this is the most detailed I've seen. We've only ever seen this this side right here in the uh, concept art. Uh, but there, now that that section down there and the little gazebo, that's all still there. Right? That's the same stuff that we've seen before. Yes, but it'll all be part of Land by Lounge as opposed to this when it was Ariel was brought up. Right. Now okay. the, I understand is that what's currently considered co bar will act as a more of just a strictly a bar. While there will be oh really? Well, the rest of Land by Lounge will have a, a dining room portion. All right. Be a portion where you can get reservations. Are they going to keep a bucket of people in the ocean, right there? How do you know they don't already? <laughs> Disney, we know where your bodies are buried in Paradise Why Bay. Why did we had to get on the media list before they came for me? <laughs> and I was saying before, these cupolas here that you're seeing that, that as the entrance are now up. Uh, we got last week it was steel, and uh, this week it'll be you can see the whole cupola. Well, my answer is that they were those were made off site by a yeah, it looked like they, they were dropped in yeah. by a contractor and then brought in for sure. So. Oh, here's some confirmation again. Of what? About dash. That's the water effect. I mean, not like we didn't think it was gonna happen, I'm, but I you am, can see the water effect. Yeah. There. I'm still wondering how involved it will be. Well, it's gonna be something. I, I mean, mean, like, is it more mist that comes out, or is it meant to actually get the people on the edge? Uh, with? I don't think it's. I think it's gonna be mist. Because yeah. I feel like people who are trying to get on the edge to go get a picture of their loved ones on the ride. Yeah. Might not You're be not gonna. Happy. It's not gonna be a wall of water like well, that. Not for that. Sure. But yeah. It, it can still be a splash. Yeah. And I feel like people who are trying to get a picture of their family or friends on the ride might not be too happy about. We'll see. We'll I, bet, see. I just wanted a picture. <laughs> uh, here's the Poultry Palace. Yeah. Uh, and a half painted Toy Story Midway Mania. And there's that entrance we were talking about that there's could have the, been a lot better. I, was, I see the, pot, the cooking part. Right? Yeah, look, yeah, it's right where the photo, yeah. photo thing so was. So I guess, I guess the, the, the photo thing only needs one portion. Yeah. That would have looked really cool though, Ian. I have to agree with that concept that we saw with, that, with the waterfall in the, in the rock wall. That would have looked really great right there. It's a shame. The hair? It's a shame they can't finish I, I, it. I mean, I know some stuff always gets cut in the process of development and budgets, you know, but this something that this sometimes stuff is fair. You can tell where a lot of things got yeah. cut, or never had much to begin with, and it, that's where it's just. This does go back a long cut, way, just, though. Cuts always happen. It's yeah. not like, oh wow, they cut. It happens. I'm aware. Yeah, of that. it has but for all some, time. But there's some cuts that hurt more than others. Being like, wow, that would have actually been really great. Yeah. You know, I was doing some homework on uh, Adventures Through Inner Space. This might break your heart a little bit. Uh, but um, Adventures Through Inner Space was supposed to be just one part of Science Land. <laughs> they were going to build a whole site, the backstage area of, you know, behind Main Street yep. and Tomorrowland, where the in between is. Like Edison Avenue. Where they were going to build the president thing, the, 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 the whole. Uh, they were going to. Anyway, they had different ideas, but that area was going to be a science land and, and it, it was going to be adventures through inner space and a, plus a bunch of other stuff and then they just cut it all the way down to just inner well, space. Real. By now it all would have been rethemed to movies anyway. So. I know, it's true, but I'm saying it goes back to 1959, See, man. Focusing on the science of it means that it doesn't feel as out of... I, you, I, if, there's two ways to go with it tomorrow. You either, you either lean more into the science or into the sci-fi or some melding of the two and that allows you to not worry about it getting outdated because the science yeah. is still the science. Right. And the sci-fi is still just a fun... But you have to keep updating it, though. 
to a degree, it like, depends how you're doing this, like what aspect of science you're looking for. That's true. Right? Some some parts of science is like math, it never changes. Yeah, there's some things where well, our knowledge will expand, but it's unlikely to radically change. Yeah, right? no, that's true, that's true. All right, let's check out this other display. We have found the, uh, the model of the Inquieta Coaster, and it's somebody is, oh! oh. It's got everything but a loop. Right? Okay. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have the helix either. No, but it can say transfer, so you can get the idea of how track transfer to go to a maintenance oh, yeah. works, right? Comes on here, switches over, backs it up. All right, excuse us. I guess our next show begins in seven seconds. What is a dispatch? Like, dispatch means sending the vehicle. Sending a car out, okay. That's what dispatch is. So, oh, here we go. He's climbing again. Sending the vehicle out. So this is... Oh, that's like old school. Oh, this is, yeah, this is just before you do the, uh, our, yeah, just before the loop. Well, remember, this is not so much a representation of the actual coaster. That's but true. A coaster to give you an idea of yeah. both of kind of how coasters work and how they're sent out by a cast. Yeah. In a very basic sense. Oh, and then everybody got whiplash. And we're back. But right, so yeah, what you're able to, this is this is like the cast member's control panel. Yeah. Dispatch the vehicle. So that vehicle. sends it. Dispatch so, just sent the car. Yes. And they're saying, oh no, someone has a selfie stick out. Selfie stick. Immediate e-stop. Wah wah, and it now, stopped. After, then after Got a the bunch selfie stick, of kicked them out. stops, so now we say, okay, mechanics came, they yeah. evac'd everybody, right. they mechanics did their reset now for the last spin. Now it's ready for you. Again, real life there's a little more to it than that, but, no. that, th but this stuff is still there. You are hired, Ian. You are hired. Now, that's to, that'll change your over here, right? I don't think that, I don't think that actually does anything on the model. Probably, probably not on this one. No. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And then as usual, they do a little movie here. I don't know what this is about. Is it about Paradise or Pixar Pier? I, I, I would hope so. Or is it about wine? Because they still got the wine down here. Well, this is, this is, this is still a cellar. Oh, you're right, huh? Right, all the barrel right, the yeah, cellar yeah. elements of this are still absolutely yeah. yeah. Hosted by Walt Disney again. He loves Pixar, by the way. Walt Disney. Tell you what, uh, I don't know, Ian, did Blue Sky hit the spot? I mean... It was, it was nice to be able to look at models and concepts. That art. was fantastic. Yeah, even, literally just like Ian Liz riding the scale. I know we did miss it. We did. We were too busy being nerds over there on the concept Joy, art. Looking at a proper scale. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at the sketch drawing for major sign with dimensions and materials. Yeah. I'm like, that's my shit. No, that's exactly what I needed did right you there. you see the representation of DCA's uh, people incinerator in the middle? Yes, here. we did. Did you like that? Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, but I I was to. asking, do they keep a bucket of people in, That's what in the I bay? Said. I said, is this the new incinerator that they're installing at DCA? <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that was, you know, I asked for more Pixar in my Pixar Fest, and we got it just well, now. Got it. That was you That was great. It. Love Blue Sky Cellar. So glad it's What'd back. What did you learn from the video? Uh, there's a lot. I'm going to do a whole video on what I learned. Oh. Yeah. Right. Actually, Ian pointed out most of it. He's like, check that out, Dave. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. So, Good job, um, Ian. Thanks, Ian. Look for that. We're going to probably put that video that I'm going to do on uh, Fresh Break Presents. Uh, but for now, we're going to finish our day with some more Pixar <laughs> and some skipping. Do you guys, would you care to skip while we do this? Or uh, is that just, is that optional? Yeah, it's a little hot out. Skipping it, optional? It's okay. Hot. Um, we're heading to the new, uh, what, what was it? Treasures in Paradise, it used to that be called. That was the name of the store. No one ever knew that. Tre I know, right? I, I just figured it out like two months ago before they closed it. Uh, Treasures in Paradise is now called, n not Knickknacks, but I've been saying Knickknacks all day. Nick's Knacks. What? Nick. There's as a, a Pixar short, the one with the snowman and the snow globe. Mm -hmm. Called Nick. <laughs> and this is his Knacks. This is his name. These are his Knacks. These are Nick's Knacks. No, I don't like it. I can't. No, Ian. <laughs> what? I didn't think Ian, no. <laughs> well, that's where we're going to finish because no, Fresh Baked, I've heard tell. I've heard tell that this place is full of nothing but Pixar merchandise. If Nick starts with a K, you have to say it Knick. What? No, you don't. Knicky. What's your favorite basketball team that's based out of New York? Six? <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, Liz, you are correct. It is the Knicks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I just thought I could answer the question because I knew. Uh, anyway, here we are. Knicks, Knacks. You see your girl got excited. I know sports, baby! <laughs> Way to go, honey. She does those sports, though. <laughs> she does, too. Uh, here we go. Knicks, Knacks. If we go in here, this is open. And uh, we've seen some photos of this. 
uh, previously, and uh, it looks pretty cool inside, I think. It's also, oh boy, it is uh, a little stuffy and uh, crowded in here. But here you go, Pixar Fest. Ta-da! All kinds of Pixar stuff, including your, you know, leading off with your Play Together, Stay Together shirt and your Pixar Fest hat. Fantastic. Let's see. Uh, as always, there's every kind of coffee mug. That's a big one. Is that for coffee? I mean, it's not as wide at the bottom, so it's taller instead. Okay. Look, that's all that's left, Ian! Oh, those? Those hats? Lots of these. That is, you're right. The car. Yeah, okay, they, they, we got one of those at our thing the other night. At the, uh... So it looks like what we've got is a section for different Pixar movies. For example, that's Monsters, Inc., obviously. Uh, Nemo, and I guess that's both Nemo, Nemo's? Nemo and Dory. Nemo and Dory, okay, that makes sense. Except that, uh, does Crush appear in Dory? I don't remember. Yeah. Just that, like briefly? Him and the EA are their ride to Monterey Bay. Oh, okay. Or but not Morrow P. Sherman, Bay. Bay, 40 Wallaby Way in uh, Sydney. Yeah, that's from the first movie. That's from the first movie, yeah. yeah. But, I know, isn't he cute? No. He you doesn't know? look right in the no, face. He looks adorable. Okay, but then they look at him from the distance. Well, because he's, <laughs> he's on all fours. No, 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 no. One right here. Let's look at this oh. one. It's just... I don't like the all fours one, but I do like this guy. Yeah. He's super cute. I don't... Uh, I like the one that you got me. Yeah, mine's great too, but he's different. He's more like a sum sum. Uh, so they've got all new... All new themed shirts. Well, okay. I've, I've never seen most of these. And uh, this is uh, Liz's shirt. What? Look right here. Wait, why did I see that one this, last night? Right? Well, that's the shirt you should be getting. But it's uh, white. I don't like white. It's white, yeah. Happened, by the way, Fresh Baked, or anybody who can help me. We now have the PNK uh, hat. Where's the, where's the OK hat? What happened to the OK hat? I got an OK shirt the other day. But I really love how they've set this up. This looks great. There she is. Hey. What you doing? Well, I was trying to see if there was anything, like, maybe that they didn't show us last night. For a there. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I mean, like, I, I'm glad, because as we were saying the other day, this is totally reminding us. Only place you can get just so much Pixar merchandise. But it really reminds you of, like, oh my god, I really do enjoy yes. a lot of this stuff. This is but, what I'm feeling about Pixar Fest in general, right? Yeah, where's Ratatouille? Where's you, your, your chin quivered a little bit. Where's the cocoa? Yeah, they're not all for the pizza. Tell me the cocoa didn't there. smash. Theater boxes and uh, all these other things. Coco did great. Do you want to know what great. I have as representation? Do you want to uh, see what I have? What? I know exactly where it is. The, there's the, one thing. In this that part. the Dante thing or? No, that already exists. Okay. So that doesn't count. Look, here's another new shirt. For Monsters Inc. That's a great shirt up there. Where's she taking us? Rihanna. I don't like that shirt very much. Oh, she found something. It's Miguel for a Christmas. Well, there's. And then. Um, Dante. Dante. But there's also those things. No, David, those existed before. That's true, that's true. They were there before. You're right. Okay, Disney, look at this face. Make this happen. We saw this hoodie. This is a Eve hoodie. We saw this hoodie at the uh, media night, and there was a awesome looking Wally hoodie that would be right here, and it's gone. Um, check back in a couple weeks. Now, as, as most Disney shops have, there's a theme to this one. This theme is the actual like you're in a Pixar studio or something like that, and. Yes, we're in a Pixar studio where they draw. Yeah, did you see the, the artist at work? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's, so that's that's your theme in here. Now, I love this place. I think this this is great. I love this place. I love that that you know all the movies have their own representation. I love these little marquee things right here. Those are great. I love this hat. I love this hat right here. This hat is famous. I, okay, do you actually like that hat? I do love this hat, yes. I do not. No, really? You don't like it? No, I saw somebody wearing it that's today. That's one of those just, just, just straight embroidery ball caps I don't He's like. He's drawing it. Miguel. Really? So, 
there's that. There's that. Now, Sarah, um, I was telling Ian how much I love this place. You do love this place. How much do you love this place? Like... Like eight or seven? Like 52. 50 out of 100? Yeah. Or sure. Yeah, that's where the other 48 you like this house in. No, she doesn't, I, I don't think so. I, I love that it house. It's like the zebra no, stripe gum. Um, yes, I do. No, you don't. I, I totally 100% do. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's very uh, like, I like it because the reason why I like it is because it's not obvious. That you have to like work it out a little bit. Like, what is that hat? Nothing. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Instead yes. of just putting, I, want I think she's incredible. Like, that shirt is Okay, awesome. I can appreciate and that. And even though, I'm sorry, the couple that I saw wearing that, I apologize if I offended you. I saw you over there by Midway Mania wearing you that. Made you made Well, in my mind. Oh. You're adorable. Oh. But I would rather wear that hat as a dude <laughs> than wear that, <laughs> that shirt. I want Bing Bong stuff. Bing, Bing Bong. Where's Bing Bong? Where's Bing Bong? I want Bing Bong to be my... my he's, he's getting his own candy store. He is getting his own candy this store. This is true. And that's also why we don't see any cars merchandise Bing Bong, Bing Bong. Because they have okay, their own Okay, but what does Coco get? Yeah. Coco? It, it rides you listen, it'll get Who keeps off. selling you it'll Coco's get a candy gondola overlay with or overlay that's, on something? That's <laughs> the Haas, yeah. He'll get a gondola with his face on it. Uh, I like that Inside Out is getting represented. This, by the way, in case you still haven't worked it out, this is the unicorn from Inside Out. The unicorn that, that plays in her dreams. Uh, anyway, I, this looks fun. This looks good. I like this store very, very much. It's one of my favorite things that we've seen so far at Pixar Fest. Uh, Woody's got his own section, Buzz Lightyear, right? I mean, that's, that's fantastic. I just, you know what I wish? They had more adult stuff in here. That's what I miss. Like how so? Like adult t-shirts? Right, like just, I don't know, more stuff for me. I would buy something. Like, I couldn't find a shirt, really. But I like these shirts, but I nothing thought, that I... I thought you liked the spud muffin. The spud muffin is because it's a muffin thing. Oh my God, like I'm a nervous Rex. Yes. Nice. I might think about getting this shirt, actually. This shirt's yes. cool. Yeah, isn't this shirt's really One cool? One problem is... It's $110. This, this, the shirt? This shirt, fresh baked, you look really cute is $110. Oh, I'm a nervous. <gasps> Oh, it's the, yeah, it's uh, the volcano from, uh, Volcano, the short, that I can't... Is Pixar? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Moana. No. Uh, what do you think, Fresh Baked? Give me your thoughts. Do you, are you enjoying, this is the shirt I almost got. I went Amigo and me. Yeah. No, all they had was extra large. And now they've only got four left. This place is blowing up. And if you disagree with me, you're in the minority, I think, because, I mean, just look at all the people in here buying stuff left and right. They, we, ugh, this place is blowing up right here. Because that's the thing is you don't get one-stop shopping for Pixar merchandise anywhere in the park like you do here. You can also buy the art that Sarah's pointing at. Do you know who that is? No, that's what I just said. That I is, uh, what's that? Lou, the short Lou, the yes, the from history. Lost and Found. That's Lost and Found Lou. He is a um, creature made up of all the things that toys or the, all the toys I that kids love. I do love that one. That's a, that's a classic. I love that Old one. Old school. I want this in my house. Yeah, yes. that's great. Because that this is, is fantastic. Ten, ten shades of amazing. Do you know what else is amazing? The Incredibles are amazing. Well, yeah, but just this. I love this. Yeah. One. Um, we think this is Sully, like an early concept. Oh. Two monsters, little girl. Yeah, yeah. Like look at the much. monster family. Yeah, yeah. And she is there, that's probably, you know, Boo, right? Isn't that so interesting? Yeah. Like he's trying to babysit? I see Matilda. I'm tripping out. Like, we'll take that. Sarah would like that piece of art? Oh, okay. Actually, uh, what's that from? I'm just going to go home and take that. What's that from? Is that from Monsters, Inc. also? Like Monster City? Did I break her? I, I broke it. Did I get the high score? I think I broke it. Congratulations, you broke it. Way to go. I did it. Oh, remember this mug set? It also makes hearts, just like the ears did. I think the ears are cuter. All right, so Sarah gives us a 52. I give it an 8, maybe a 9, pushing a 10. Wait, what? I have a different scale than you, so. <laughs> okay, then I and give it like. Ian gave it a C. I give it like a three and a half. C minus. C minus. What? Now on what scale now? Ten. 
You've said five before, or f no, 52. I said 52. 52 is five out of 10. 5.2, technically, but. No, I gave it a better score and had more points now that I want to get 10 points. What if they had eight more pieces of cocoa merchant here? I think you guys were incorrect. And there you go, that's Nick's Snacks. And take care. One more stop, Fresh Bake. We're at the uh, Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood Land. And you'll see they've got these banners up here uh, for all the Pixar shorts that have shown over the years. Piper, Lava, that's that uh, <laughs> volcano one I was trying to remember. Anyway, they're doing a Pixar short, like you can see all the Pixar shorts at the old uh, Muppet Vision Theater. We're gonna do that next week. Next week, we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, we're gonna check out the show over at Paradise Garden. Uh, they've got that, uh, that, that Pixar themed show that they're doing there, the band or whatever that's playing. There you go, this is the Pixar Shorts Film Festival. Presumably, you know, I, I don't know if it's all of them, I guess it could be. They've made a lot and they're like, what, three minutes each, so maybe more. I don't know if they're gonna show them all or not, but hopefully some of our favorites. What did I get again? What is this? It's a mint chocolate chip shake. Mint chocolate. <laughs> Who is it themed after? It's blue. Monsters. It's blue! Is it Sully? Look at me! Pretty sure. That's why they also had the mic. Oh yeah, it has so purple. The, these were Monsters Inc. items because the, the rides over there. Okay. Right, so the, so Mike's was the pie, so Sully is, we're, we're gonna drink Sully then. Is that right? This is Sully, the Sully with, or Sully mint. But mint is green. I know, honey. I was confused too. I thought I thought it was like unicorn frappuccino. Yeah, what's going on? It's like, and that, that we had that uh, the alien pie. Uh, the, the, the the blue layer, layer was the mint layer, also, wasn't it? Okay, the blue layer was the lemon flavor. Or lime. Or lime, whatever. Which lime was green? What? I gotta drink this. I'm so thirsty. I just gotta keep training. They said I'm good. Shave your head. <laughs> she just met. Uh, what do they call them? I said, everyone I meet, I tell them this is who I aspire to be. What did she say? And they said, shave your head. No, she said, what are your skills? <laughs> Sass. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, good, we need you, good. <laughs> she, she's, I couldn't think of one final thing and I was like, huh, I can't stand that Killmonger guy. And she went, keep training. That'll do, that'll do. <laughs> so does the Black Panther come out ever? Or? No. It's coming out soon. Yeah. And then I said, I said, please tell King T'Challa. I said, thank you for all he does. And she said, that's a cool story, bro. You know what? Hater? <laughs> Sip on that hatering. No, hey, it's fun. three o'clock. I'm allowed to get saucy. What kind of? Forever. Did you see them make me pose? No, I didn't even know where you were. I've been. I'm, you should just I'm know at this point in life, if we're in here and you can't find me, it's probably because Black Panther. Oh, okay. All right. What are you doing? They're not here anymore. Cry in the corner. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, the, the, hey, did you get all that latest Black Panther merchandise that they have for sale? Like where? Which <laughs> There's two favorite movies, Coco and Black Panther. Nowhere to be found in this park. I mean, merchandise-wise. Right. Yeah. Because they have the Right, and that's it. But I can still get Olaf on everything. <laughs> well, Fresh Bake, we've made it. We've made it to the end of our Saturday once again. I cannot believe that <laughs> we do this every week, I swear. I don't know how we do it. Woo! Another, another, this is a big week for us this week. We're here Thursday, we're here Friday, we're here Saturday. We got, there's so much show. You've got, a, you got a, just a cornucopia of Fresh Bake to deal with this week. It's already started, by the way. You've already seen, uh, first videos from Thursday with the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what, you, what, what am I talking about? Well, actually, it's, su it's Saturday. I don't know what I'm talking about. Or maybe it's actually Sunday. But, uh, so you've already seen a whole bunch of stuff, obviously. Uh, Sarah's on again. You're still feeling it, Sarah. Uh, so, good afternoon.
Aaron Prespin, good evening, good morning, wherever you are today. I'm glad you joined us this week with Fresh Bakes and our Pixar Fest adventure that is just beginning. Because Pixar Fest is going to last for a little while. And we're just getting started. Next week, there's going to be a lot more Pixar involved. We're going to take a special look. We're going to do an expose on Pixar Fest bunting next week. We're going to, we're going to analyze and break down the use of these uh, red, yellow, and blue buntings. I think they're fantastic. I do not like them. No. Uh, no, they're okay. They, they, like Wonder Bread. <laughs> they, they, they do look like Wonder Bread a little bit. Yes, I would agree. Uh, so, so stay tuned uh, for more. Obviously, we're gonna have lots more coming from Pixar Fest this week. Um, there's a lot to look forward to this week. Uh, I'm both here and on Fresh Bake Presents. So, I hope you I hope you join us. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. Uh, so that you are reminded, because YouTube's not going to tell you, they were reminded that we got a new video coming out. Um, also, by the way, you should already by now have seen or been notified of our monorail, Secrets and History of the Monorail video uh, that, that came out on Friday. If you haven't watched that, watch it now because it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite videos ever that I've ever made. Um, put a lot of work into that one, so I hope you enjoy that. And then follow us on Fresh Bake Presents. Subscribe there. Uh, subscribe to us also on Fresh Bake WDW with our co-host or our, our, our man over in Florida, David Reynolds. He's our correspondent there. He's doing pretty much the same thing that we do here, but he's doing over at Disney World and Magic Kingdom. And, uh, you know, the, what do we call it? The one with the animals? The place with the animals, the place with all the countries. And then they have another thing. I think it's in Hollywood. I'm not sure. David will tell you. He, he's really, really familiar with the different parks that they have there. So enjoy that. Uh, and until next time, uh, guys, I think that's it. We love you. Thanks hey guys, for joining us. Good day. And uh, we'll see you next week. Fresh break and stuff. See you real soon. Bye oh my bye. Gosh. Did she just channel Mickey Mouse? Wow. Okay, was that like crazy? Bye. Did you think I was Mickey right now? Yeah. Yes. Nailed it. Okay, uh, bye. Ian? Bye. Bye. <laughs>